Well, we're at the uh, Dartmouth Rapids uh, Pothole Side Trail. And this is a Great Gorge Trail. That's the trail leading up to Cucumber Falls that way. And there's the trail leading that way to High Bridge. And back over there across the woods, across the river, Yakagani River is right down there. Ohio Powell State Park, Western Pennsylvania. It is 2022, November 19th, and it's 2.11 p.m., so we got plenty of time to get down there real quick and uh, go do our other hike today. We want to go see the Cucumber Rapids Boulder Field, but right now we're going to go down and see the Dartmouth Rapids Pothole just to always give it a little bit of popularity. This is the easiest way to get there. Just use nature's little sidewalk. Always wear your cleats. Uh, I suggest in the winter, because then that will provide you good footing, less slipping, even though I have slipped already once today. Although I was, I slipped before I put my cleats on, so it's a lesson for always wearing your cleats. Cleats are cheap. All right, so I don't see any footprints, just water. It's been seeping down here and dried up already. The river's only one to two feet today. Temperature's around 30 degrees when I started. It's probably around 32 degrees right now. Oh, look, somebody knocked this over. This is the little sign mark stick. Here on the right down trail. But better to use the noise of the rapids as your verification you're going to the right rapids. And we're approaching the noise of the Dartmouth Rapids. I guess this is kind of slightly above normal hiking. Oh yeah, one other thing you'll see when you get, if you ever do this hike, it's a very, very short hike. It takes a experienced hiker five to 10 minutes to get from Great Gorge Trail down to the uh, uh, Yakigiti River and Dartmouth Rapids. When you get down close, uh, you'll see the leftovers of uh, the yellow dots, which somebody, sprayed little yellow dots. There's the first yellow dot right there. There's about nine or, t nine or 10 of them down here total. They're starting to fade, I can tell. Not that I will ever redo them. I didn't even do them to begin with. Somebody else did them. Your yellow dots well, actually, the sound of the Dartmouth Rapids is even better. The sound is never going to go away. As long as the rapids are here, you'll be hearing the rapids noise. And you'll have this little downstream, which is feeding the boulder field right here at the Dartmouth Rapids.
I guess you gotta have to love this kind of hiking. It's slightly off trail. Every step is a unique experience. Which is why I love this kind of hiking so much. Okay, we should be in the middle of a whole bunch of yellow dots. But better to. Okay, yellow dot. Yellow dot. Yellow dot. Now that makes what, four or five? Yellow dot, six. As you can see, this little area where the water seeps down through flattens the landscape and you can get down to the river. So... I wonder, possibly on the downstream side of these little downstreams, I have noticed three points coming down from the Great Gorge Trail. So there are the downstreams, and being on the downstream side of the downstreams, hiking down is your quickest, usually safest way to get down to the Yakigani River. You're only gonna find a fisherman's foot, footsteps because right here, Dartmouth Rapids is a great little fishing space. All of the boulders, both sides of the uh, Yakigini River here are nicely exposed because the river is so low. The river's only one feet elevation. I don't know how they calculate it, but one to two feet. And here's your final yellow dot tree. We're right up close to it. This is your final tree, yellow dot. And right down over there, we will be shortly arriving at the Dartmouth Rapids pothole. I have six walking sticks right now, three of them beaver cut. And I will start to uh, leave some polyurethane beaver cut, genuine high pile, Yakigini River walking sticks. I'll start leaving one here every couple months so that if you are a hiker, whoever sees this video, sees this part of the video, I'll show you where I'll be leaving my polyurethane beaver cut and make sure you understand the, the importance and the uh, value of a beaver cut walking stick. It is one that's generally river tested Beavers only eat vibrant young trees and once they kill them and chew off the bottom they fall over, fall in the river. Okay, they collect along the shoreline of the Yakigani River here and then some of us hikers eventually correctly conclude that these sticks are beaver cut and they're valuable. In summer, in this hiking area, you have to do be on the lookout for copperheads. I've seen a couple of garter snakes up there in the summer. I have yet to see a rattler. I've only seen one copperhead in my six years. Okay, Dartmouth Rapids. Dartmouth Rapids pothole is hidden. It's just down there. years ago, not very far from here, 
literally 50 yards I broke my nose I was tired and I couldn't stop my momentum when I was hopping between boulders and I couldn't stop so I slipped into a boulder okay so these boulders right here and this little tree even though it looks like it's dead it's not it's a it's the little river little river tree here at Dartmouth Rapids when I was here one summer there was a that's where I saw the uh, snake copperhead right in there Okay, we're standing on one big boulder. This is the boulder I nicknamed the Swoopy Boulder because the river has made all of these incredible depressions and swoops in this boulder probably for thousands or hundreds of thousands of years have swooped to this boulder. And the Swoopy Boulder, and this is the channel that goes through the swoopy boulder but it's all one solid boulder out here there is the Dartmouth Rapids pothole you 